going to make this a little annoying. Damn. And Inspired is just going to creep. The expansion first. Does the Acolyte see? I didn't realize you could actually get over here. I think these trees block you from having high ground vision. So, like, Last Refuge, for instance, would be an example of a map where you get on the high ground and you can sort of scout. But I think these trees stop that from happening. Because even when you sit, like, right here, it's you can only see, like, this far. And Lich is creeping the expo. The same. Todd, thanks for the 62 months, says uh, Carson the Rod. Hell yeah. Todd the Arson. Wait, that nickname doesn't have a flair to it if it doesn't rhyme. <laughs> this seems like slander when it doesn't rhyme with your name, doesn't it? Thank you for the 62 months. How you doing? Just a tower coming up. Are we going to see a one base inspired? Wouldn't be surprised to see a tech right now. No, he's building a fourth farm, so he's going to commit to the expansion. Surprised by that. Nice pressure from the Archmage, though. He's underleveled, but he's done a good job of keeping the Lich away from his peasants. And was that zero peasants lost? Okay, one peasant lost. Totally acceptable. Which is a circlet. And boots of speed. There it is. Players forces are under attack. That'll be maybe a couple more peasants dying. Nice splits. Nova. Good land. Ooh, not a juicy Nova target until right then. Two peasants. Dead. He's looking to find a third. A player's force Probably will. Attack. And no expansion yet for Sheik. I was waiting for the Nerubian to come up. It's not. That's not too crazy. A lot of players wait for their Nerubian to come up before expanding. I'm just surprised by it based on how defensive the Archmage has been. Down. Any pressure on the lich? The player's forces are under attack. Skeleton apparently found another peasant right on top of the lumber mill. Mansion's up though. And shop coming up for the Archmage. Better earlier than forgotten about, especially against the lich that could pressure your Archmage down to no HP in no time. And the Lich, what's your next move? Probably trying to get level 3, if possible. Maybe a shop creep could be level 3 for the Lich. And we'll just continue aggression. Don't think that's the right play for Sheik, but we'll see how it plays out. She could just go creep the shop. Go, go. Inspired should be looking for level 3 as well right now. Ooh, the. It's Ogre. No man's land. I wonder how that happened. If you do that consistently, it'd be quite nice. Look how easily you crept it. And guess a greater mana for it. Tier 2 on the way for both around the same timing. Fire's gonna be a slightly ahead in gold, because this expansion was earlier. It costs more though. One ghoul will be saved. Hanzo Ray, thanks for the five months. How you doing, man? Appreciate you. Eye on the ghoulio. But not a lot of mana gain from that. Yeah, Sheik, need I say it again, not really gaining anything from this pressure. I suppose what he's doing 
is he's keeping inspired on level two and he's also keeping inspired away from his expansion is that the goal if that's the goal then okay fair enough but if that's not the goal then it was all wasted time maybe that's what he was going for Sheik, though players forces are under attack i could i could understand that i could understand that that would make sense and now this will be level three i think very very close if he gets a footman it will for sure be level three There it is. Now Sheik is cooking. We let him cook, and now he's truly cooking. He's in the fryer. I'll be another dead footman if he wants it. He does. Back at home for Sheik. Double crypt. Done. No third crypt. So yeah, probably gonna be two Crypt Fiends, Slaughterhouse, and Tier 3 tech. For Inspired. Remains to be seen what he's gonna go for. And there's a TK and the two Crypt Fiends in the Tier 3 tech. And a Slaughterhouse. Come on, Sheik, build it. Let your macro slip. Need those statues out. Nice micro so far from Sheik. Really keeping the human at a distance. 50 supply footmen. And there's level 3 from what? From militia creeping up here. That's a haste on the ground. And yeah, plus 1 attack and double slaughterhouse on their way for Sheik. The spire goes straight to your 3 as a mount king on the way. And a single sanctum. And probably a couple of workshops, I would have to guess. Oh, that was a lot of lumber researchers there. Players' forces are under attack. Sheik seems to be in pretty good shape here. If he just goes straight up to 70 supply, gets a couple statues, gets his orbit tier 3, Dark Ranger 3rd, and go, go, go towards the expansion, he's probably going to have a really strong timing. I suppose that makes sense. That's why he was so aggressive, because even if he's underleveled, all he wants to do is keep inspired away from his economy. If he has his economy cooking the whole game... His tier 3 timing is going to be perfect. So even if he's really just sort of, it seems like, AFKing outside of uh, Inspired's expansion, as long as Sheik is keeping his, himself safe, mining on two bases, that's how he wins. So yeah, I take back what I said earlier. Totally makes sense what Sheik was doing the whole time. And now, if he can really creep with the time he's given, the, ne the next minute or so, and get level 3 DK, then it would be insane, but I don't think Sheik's going to be able to d get DK3. And yet, notice Sheik breaks up keep right away, doesn't waste any time. Now all he needs to do is just get his third hero, get his orb, get Destro form, probably web and burrow as well, and then push. And then what's Inspire going to have? One knight? Some footmen? He's not done for Sheik. Nice bolt. Some frenzy on the way as well. Web Destro form. The Sheik does need to go back home eventually. He doesn't have backpacks, so. A player's forces are under attack. Gonna go back now and probably create these three camps. At least two of them, I would say. But Inspired has bought himself a decent amount of time in that little exchange in the middle and towards that last camp he was creeping. So he's gonna have a couple of nights out. The supply is getting even, and Sheik honestly should have been pushing about 30 seconds ago with his orb with his third hero. Death Reform's only finishing now, but he could have already been pressuring this expo. Okay, 
right, here's the masked Astros. No third hero, but the orb is here. Surprise there's no third hero. I guess he doesn't have the supply currently. He's, he needs to build an A supply Ziggurat. Okay, if, if Inspired holds, he's probably won. If she can break the Expo, obviously Sheik is won. This is what it comes down to. This is the big timing in two base, two base, human undead. This is it. This is it, what we're seeing. Patient play from Inspired so far. Very patient. Fly machines come in. Where's that knight we knew about? There we go. Fly machines focus down. Should be in call. Two knights here now. And the Destro's out of mana. 56 supply against 69. The Lich is dead though. And that's what we call a hold. Hey, SNS, what's that, dude? It's a dude four months. It's time flies when you're having fun. Appreciate you. What's that? Uh, four and a half years. Jesus, Jesus. Be having revived. Still ahead in supply. Inspired needs some more flying machines. If you can get enough flying machines, that's 15 supply in the air that will just be dead. Could go start power creeping now, but he wants to continue fighting. Makes sense. Fired very close to holding, but still doesn't have enough anti air. Needs to be able to kill these destroyers. If he can kill the Destros, obviously two knights, more than enough to kill us a number of fiends, but he needs enough flying machines. Probably, I would say, like 14 flying machines. Which seems like a lot, but it's not. Knight's kind of cooking. Kiting pretty good. And a nice coil from Sheik. Couple units starting to die. A lot of militia are falling. The lumber might be an issue. No, it's actually not for Inspired. Those gloves still on the ground. Flying machines. Starting to put some damage in. Two fiends about to fall. And will fall. 7 against 63. The supply gap is closing. Again, focus fire on the Lich that doesn't have a town portal. Everybody. But still, no way to deal with the Destros. They're all very low, but the flying machines have been cleaned up. Can the Archmage get the kills? One Destro finally falls. Archmage is just destroyed. Had a potion as well. 44 against 56. Still a pretty close game, everybody. Both have lost their first hero now. And Dr. Sirius Raven, thank you for the 40 months. Good to see you. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? And now Sheik will go and power creep. And Sheik is going to end up ahead here because he's got lots of creeps to take down here. And he's got the positional advantage. Luckily for Inspired, he at least got this camp earlier. I think he did, right? He was the one that got that camp, no? Whatever item he got, he already used or sold. Greater heal. Happy would have gotten a greater mana right there. Paladin level 3. Archmage was Tavern revived. Didn't know if I wanted to say revived or rebought there. Dark Ranger, by the way, is on his way to level 3. Abomination now. Surprise! Not many undeads go Banshees. Are Banshees really that difficult to use? Many undeads favor going Abominations over Banshees. And I think Abominations just don't actually work. <laughs> They're just much easier, apparently. But I don't think they actually work. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Oh, Lich. Potion vulnerability's there. Holy Light. Okay, Potion is there. And now the Archmage. Staffed out. And Lich, there's no mana. Greater Heal Pass? 
is used. Nicely done. All the flying machines are nearly cleaned up, but the Destros might just barely be dying. Mountain King's out of mana. Paladin has a Holy Light to save Mountain King. 62 against 56. Oh, flying machine versus Destro. Who's going to win? One more attack. Destro wins. Divine Shield forced on the Paladin. 5 against 62. Oh, man. Inspired was so close to winning this fight and somehow loses it. Staff off cooldown. Hold up. Let him cook. Let him cook. Priest heal. Oh, my God. Jesus. He keeps all of his heroes alive. Inspired was losing the game. We lost his MK right there. But because he kept it alive, we still got a game on our hands, everybody. He can't staff, though, can he? Oh, no. He... He actually built his farms in such a way that I think staff always goes to the back. I don't know if you, you'll be staffed right there. Be with the same heroes, though. Oh, Destro does die eventually. Surprised that Sheik didn't move that back there. 61 against 57. Ooh, why does Inspired feel forced to fight right now? I think that's a mistake. He should just recover. What, is he worried about losing farms? Why is he engaging? He should heal up. Get some more mana. Just go to your expo. Go to your shop. Go to your shop. Inspired. Well, he might kill your barracks. Who cares? Might kill a couple farms. You have time. You have time, my brother. And Manchan, thank you for the 64 months. We a lot of long subs today. How are you guys doing? Thank you. I guess also on the other side of the coin, Inspired doesn't want to allow Sheik to get tons of mana by just chilling here. If the DK gets more coils, Spire might be screwed. I guess that's the other side of this. Seventy-five now. It's Fifty-nine, but um, fourteen of that is in production. So it's actually sixty-one against fifty-nine currently in fighting supply. Another expansion, by the way, for Sheik on this way. Oh, man, Inspire was so close this game, but I don't think he's going to close this one out. It's just not looking likely that he's going to win a fight. I mean, maybe if he fights soon, the DK's still low on mana, but yeah, Sheik back in way wisely. Got his third base up. And Inspire was close here. It was so close. But the favorite might prevail in map one. Thorks as well, by the way, to counter the abominations. If Banshees equal mortar teams, if A-bombs equal Sorks, this will be how it goes. Both, of course, are countered by destroyers, but you hope you have enough flying machines to counter the Destros. 83 supply. And some free experience. Here comes the Mount King. Clap more as a positional tool than actually damage here. There is now coils on the DK. Silence is there. One fiend falls, yeah, but two knights nearly traded out for it. The Paladin. Staff was used. I'm so surprised. Oh, the staff is actually off cooldown. I was going to say, I'm so surprised human players really ever staff knights out in these situations. They should always keep their, their staff for heroes. IMO. But regardless, Sheik wins game one. Very, very close game there. Very back and forth. Couple of bad fights for Inspired, as it seems. And we'll go on to Hammerfall for map number two. Eek one map away from giving us another Undead Mirror Grand Finals. Let's see if Inspired can do anything about that. So Hammerfall, Human Against Undead. Honestly, I think um, doing the Rock Golem Expo might be better than doing the Cobalt Expo. With a Footman pull, you can creep it really easily. We'll see. We'll see what uh, both players probably choose to go for.
Okay. This way. The sack. Give him this. Man, my sleep schedule is not great right now. I've been I've been staying up to like 3 a.m. every night, which is not great for these early morning casts, I tell you. I feel more awake today, weirdly enough, though, than I do most days when I get, like, enough sleep. Who knows, man? Who knows? Who knows? But it's good I have this cast today because i got to be up tomorrow, too, because we have an afternoon gig that we have to travel to. Oh, good. good. Okay, here we go. Loading into game two on Hammerfall. Inspired. One more map. Try to tie it up. If not, he's out. And Sheik is into the grand finals. Here we go, map two. Her left here is inspired. Bottom right. Ghouls again from Sheik. Power building. Oh, Thorzane, where are you at? That's Dark Mage. What is this for, I want? It could be for a couple of things. It could be to creep Jack with a level one Archmage, the expansion attempt of Sheik. Or it could be to Is Power Creep level three? Off the rip, I don't know. Early morning cast? Hey, yes and yes, we don't all have to be up at 6 a.m., okay? 9 a.m. is early for me, all right? What I do for a living? 9 a.m. is early. And Lich versus Archmageo again. How much faster the hero is when you do this power build. Build. Hey, he's just gonna do it just for the immediate expansion. He's probably like, what the hell, did I forget my hero or something? And that Acolyte is very close to this Taskmaster. Let's see if he can get a last hit. Keep an eye on the Archmage's experience. Oh, no, Acolyte. Just gonna pull the creeps. Honestly, kinda just helps Inspired. More than anything, I'll be honest. And Lich is going for straight for ass. I right, warm up for a gig. Uh, I do some scales. I drink a beer, and then I drink a Red Bull, and then I get another beer to bring on stage. Two beers and a Red Bull. That's that's the perfect perfect uh, line for me. And uh, then I do push-ups. And then I jump around, and then I go on stage. That's how I prepare. A dink. Or die din Q. I'm gonna call you Dink. Thanks for the seven months. Appreciate you. That is a Q, right? Yeah, it is a Q. Yeah. Dink. Fired. Looks like he might tech. Or is he bringing peasants over again? No, it's not. Get your hand pressured. And yeah, Inspired is gonna tech. Both players probably tacking. Yep, there it is. One base versus one. You don't see this too often nowadays, do you? Generally, at least one in of the two players will expand, if not both. Actually, I would say more commonly, one of the two players expands. Either the human plays one base trying to break the undead's expo, or vice versa. A full man on the ledge. Boots and circlet, maybe. Can't afford the circlet. She could. Nice boots, though. 
Maybe the circuit's already gone. I don't know. Sheik has a circuit from something, so. Militia. Kill the skeleton that scouts the tech. And we'll have a blacksmith now. Yep, there it is. Hard to say who's at the advantage here. I guess the only advantage one might have in this situation is strategical advantage. Whose strategy is better? That I would say I do not know. The player's forces are under attack. Maybe I'd say slight advantage to Inspired currently because a little bit of experience lead and a little bit of attack lead. But not much at all. And health lead also. Player's forces are under attack. He's gonna get his first bit of experience here. Yeah, I would say Inspired's ahead with just how low experience Sheik is currently. Oh, and again the pressure. He finds him. Oh, and the footman block almost gets a little bit more damage on the Lich. But soon there'll be a Death Knight. There'll be a Death Knight in about 55 seconds. Forces are under attack. And a lot of low units here for Sheik. to die. And the Slaughterhouse is actually being cancelled. She could just kind of get known by Footman right now. The question becomes, what is the follow-up for Inspired? Because, like, one base, one base. Are you going to push into the undead base? Is that what you're going to do? Is that how you're going to try to end the game? Probably not, right? So do you try to get an expansion up? Or do you just try to creep up a Mountain King? A player's forces are under attack. There's a mountain king. Decent items for the Lich now. Starting to cook a little bit, no? But of course, the power creeping edge is going to go to Inspired because priests and rifles and water elementals, etc. But once Sheik has a destroyer, or two, or three, or four, probably not four because it's riflemen, of course. But once he has at least a Destro, then he gets the, the creeping edge. Magic damage. For now, Sheik doing the play that I always suggest when a human's on one base, which is kill peasants, and then kill some more peasants, and then kill some more peasants. A player's forces are under attack. The human's not on one base. Honestly, didn't even notice that Inspired expanded. I'll be honest with you guys. I thought the blue dot down here was just that sentry ward from earlier. Oh, M uh, Mountain King could have killed the DK there. Oh, the Lich is dead. He gets the drive surround without the bolt. And there it is.
Come on, fast is going down. Is this DK just dead? There's another slow. Wait, inspired commit for the commit for the DK. No. Okay, he's gonna get level three here. All right. No need to commit to the DK. Counter expansion now for Sheik. Caught that one. Did he? He got a crystal ball, and then sold it. Didn't scout the expo though with that crystal ball. Up saying cook, but I, how am I supposed to read your comment without saying cook? It's in the. It's in your comment. A player's forces are under attack. Looks like this is a tied series. I don't see any chance at all for Sheik to win this game. TBH. Yeah, he's just he's just hella dead. He's hella dead. He's going for the counterattack. And there's not a lot of towers. There's in fact only one. There is a town portal. This expansion is donezo. Inspired should go back. The split attack is actually really, really good. Where do you TP? The main base, apparently. Oh, Stormbolt. That knight has the town portal, though. All oh, the peasants go down to the ghouls. This is about as good of a play as you can make in this situation if you're chic. There's a TP. Really nicely done. He's going to need to do a few more plays like that, though. Maybe three, four, five more plays like that. Six more plays like that. Seven, eight, ten, 100. No, probably about two or three more times. Uh, in a winning position, let's say. A player's forces are under attack. Three Lich. Twelve minutes into the game. Ghouls trying to split off, but Water Elemental is there. No towers for Inspired. Oh, he finds Peak's army though. Destros are with the army. So slow won't be good, but the Stormbolt will be this DK. We're gonna have to TP again. Oh my god. Whoa! Okay, it does TP. Now the Lich has a staff teleportation to get out. He's got to be careful of a bash. Yeah, Sheik's doing a good job. But he's not killing a lot anymore. A player's forces are under attack. Are from Northern California? Did I say Hella? I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't know what I, what I say. I don't remember. I don't remember the words that I say on the stream. I just say words. Shredder would actually not be the best choice because you imagine if there's a Shredder here right now. These dusters would just kill it. Investment gone. She's doing a really great job here, though. He should have lost this game for sure. Zapper. He's doing a really great job. And a ghoul, at least, is getting prepared for the counterattack. Rifleman no defending the towers. Trying to, at least. Fired force to TP again. But there's a Zeppelin. Oh, the Zeppelin. Uh-oh, the DK. Bash? Just barely. Okay, one Destro will fall. So Inspired finally put Sheik in danger for all the harass he's been doing. The player's forces are under attack. Okay. 
Counter Expo's up now, though. That's what Sheik was buying time for. And Sheik is now in a position where he's on even economy and he's up attack. Town is under and he's siege. forcing... Inspired into lots of towers. Not gonna mean he's gonna have the biggest of armies. Oh. Amy, good job. Lamy is actually one of the more difficult things to do in this game. I mean, the game becomes very, very simple when all you have to do is take a fight and win the fight. I micro better than you, I win. I have a better army than you, I win. You have a mispositioned hero, I win. Whereas layman is a lot more factors than just those simple things. For Archmageo, Crystal Ball might actually be useful to keep. Powers, at least one's up. And could be repaired. You gotta repair it with everything. Oh, four Destros is too many. Wow, this is a frustrating game for Inspired. I think Sheik is pulling ahead, kind of. Oh, and as I say that, maybe he's gonna lose both heroes. No, he's got a TP and a push and up in vulnerability. Oh, what a hero, what a hero's gonna be bolted. Oh. DK dodges it. Town is under siege. That's just continue to be annoying. Oh my god, Sheik. You killed the towers as well. That's the thing about rifles, man. What do I always say? Well, I say it normally against one base human, like I said earlier. Play hit and run against one base human. And it's not just because it's one base human that hit and run is really, really viable. It's because one base human is so often rifle caster. It, it almost exclusively is rifle caster. And rifles are terrible against this style. They're slow, they're clunky, they can't get into the back of your base very easily. You're always low on lumber when you build rifles because you need upgrades and stuff. Hit and run is so good against one base human and also just rifles in general. That's what we're seeing Sheik abuse right now. He's gonna win this game. Well deserved. Jesus. He should have lost. He should have lost a few times over. And then he just sort of outplayed, inspired for like 10 minutes straight. Eh, we're eight minutes straight. Still opportunity to throw though. This DK's gonna have to TP again. Three bashes in a row. Careful! Whoa. No bashes. Never lucky. Dude, is he really saving the TP? No. I don't... Oh! Maybe? Jesus. Saves the TP. Cheek is just playing pure Destro. That's uh, not a good army. But, uh... Okay. I mean, Sheik is not going to be able to take a straight-up fight with pure Destro. I'll tell you guys that right now. A player's forces are under attack. And he probably won't. But... I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. He's just building destroyers, and I'm not sure why. He could have gone into... You know, six abominations, and then pushed the expansion and tried to win the game off of a fight with a Dark Ranger third or something. forces are under attack. All right. 80 supply destroyers. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 destroyers. <laughs> okay. 45 supply in destroyers. And then what 10 supply in acolytes, 10 supply in heroes. Almost all the supply. It's destroyers. Oh, there's 10 more supply and ghouls. There should be what? 
Two more ghouls at home. Both AFK. Nine destroyers in your base. What are you going to do? These nine destroyers come up to you in the club. What are you supposed to do? Still inspired. I mean, he's at 75 supply rifle caster. Nice and this. The player's forces are under attack. All right, so you got 45 supply and destroyers, and you're kind of countered. <laughs> this is really, after all the work she put in to come back into this game, he's really throwing it by just only building destroyers. He's got to, the thing is, he's got to build two more statues now, too, because he needs two more statues. But then after that, he's going to have to transition into something. He's going to have to. Golden! What's up? Thanks for 15 months. It's uh, nice to hear you back, Carson. How's the album going? Pretty good. Pretty good. We're going back into the studio at the end of the month, some weekend. But obviously, we're going to have a new release soon, I hope. Whoop. Level 4 DK. She finding some kills. Actually finding nothing but kills. Did even a single Destro die? That was just all gravy there for Sheik, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine destroyers still, guys. The Sheik finds Omega Value. He's expanding again. <laughs> and now Inspire goes to tier three. He says, okay, I've had enough of this. A player's force Go to tier three. Attack. Another expansion for Sheik. <laughs> well, this one is uh, just a distraction for this one, probably. Oh, Militia find. Okay, nice scouting from Inspired. A player's hey, Inspired, you've seen attack. nine destroyers. You know what you have to do, right? Just get it. Just get 30 flying machines. Just get 30 flying machines. A town is under siege. And then you know what you can do after that? After you have 30 flying machines, you preemptively put down two Griffin aviaries. Because what are you supposed to do when you have 30 flying machines as an undead? What are you going to do? What's the next step? What's the next logical step? Necro wagon. And then you lose with Griffins because they go Necro wagon and they have cripple. Hell yeah. Free experience. We like free experience here. Inspired? I don't see flying machines being produced right now. I do see a dead expansion. Inspired, you have 11 supply open for flying machines. That's 11 flying machines that aren't being built. Main bases are... I guess the main bases are out of gold. Okay. We are at the 23 minute mark here. be back. Is there enough anti-air? I think there just might be, because the entire army's anti-air, you guys. Whoa, fly machines. Maybe a little overextending. But yeah, there's, there's no way, right? The Sheik's not gonna win this fight. He does trade good, though. Sheik, notice he's never overcommitting. It's so easy to overcommit and just be like, well, I just lost every destroyer. I guess I didn't have enough. But he lost, what, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one Destro there. And he killed, like, two-thirds of the flying machines. He killed a couple of casters. He's double expanding. All right, well, he's got this other expansion up, at least, and kept this one alive. She can just re-push. And he's never allowing the flying machines to get to critical mass. 
never allowing it. Note how low the Mountain King's experience has been for how long. He's been level 4 for like 15 minutes, it feels like. A player's forces are under attack. More value. Hasn't. DK's on his way to level 5. Not enough fly machines currently. Heal scroll, of course, necessary against the flat cannons. Whoa! Oil's there. No war of the fire, despite there being tier 3. Is there enough fly machines? See again, Sheik's getting some value. He's taking a lot of damage, yeah. But he's not actually losing anything. He's killing a flying machine here and there. He's getting close to losing a lot, but he's not losing anything. He's just kiting with Coil Nova. When he has the opportunity, he's killing a few flying machines, keeping their numbers down. Very, very nice play from Sheik. What's going on over here? Footman. Didn't scout this gold mine yet. This gold mine? Nearly Please saturated again. 12 flying machines beat 12 Destros. If you micro them, they do. Town is under siege. One flying machine beats 12 Destros if you micro them. But you need to uh, micro it a whole lot. A whole lot, I tell you. Oh, here we go. That's enough. Oh, here's the overcommitment from Sheik. He's about to lose everything. And just like that, it takes one overcommitment when they come from behind. And everything is lost. And GG is called. Cheek, why? All right. Hear me out here. Why did Cheek fight there? Why did he feel the need to fight? Wasn't he just winning the game? He was on two base, mining. Why didn't he just commit with everything It just felt like Sheik got to the point where he was like, okay, I'm done with this game, I'm bored, and just committed to a fight that he didn't need to. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Could he not have just kept doing what he was doing? Did he not have a TP there or something? Does Inspired have tier three? Yeah, he went tier three. We saw him tech in the castle, unless did he cancel the tier three tech? Um, oh yeah, he was tier 2 at the end of the game. So he he started teching tier 3 and must have lost a bunch of peasants and then cancelled it. I mean, it wasn't really needed. What, did he want a paladin level 1? I mean, inner fire would have been alright for the flying machines, but... Alright, Northern Isles is going to be map number 3. Happy has been patiently waiting for like an hour and a half. <laughs> Did it not feel like that? Was there something I'm missing? Like, it felt like Sheik was just like, I don't want to play this anymore. Oh, I gotta restart my game. It wasn't destroyers useless. Yeah, but destroyers, he had destroyers only for like 20 minutes, you know? He was making them work that long. He could have kept kiting. He could have kept kiting. Do, 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 do. Da, da, da. In the game again. No TP at the end? Oh, is that what it was? Was he just caught out without a TP and was like, I guess I had to commit or my Lich is dead? That makes sense. But if he had a TP... No, his Lich did have a TP. His Lich had a TP. Did he die before the TP went off? He must have. Lich had a TP because I can see it on the overlay that's still loaded for me. Lich had a TP. 
Mountain King level 5 is pretty insane, though, to be fair. Level 3 Stormbolt makes the game pretty difficult for Sheik, because Inspire can just start throwing Stormbolts on the DK over and over again. All right, game number three. No denials. Winner of this has the luxury of playing happy in a best of five. Dreadlord? Yeah, Dreadlord throw would have been good, Leon, for show. Here we go, map three. No denials. Bottom left, Sheik. Upper right. Inspired again going for the power build build. The power build build build. This where uh, was the first map I saw this build on against Undead. It was Thorzane. When Happy was still playing Ted Fiend's fast DK harass. Thorzane would power build so that he could creep the Tuskar before the DK got there in time to kill any peasants. Do you guys remember that? Do you guys remember? Who remembers? Who remembers that? I'm one in the chat if you remember what I'm talking about. Or am I the only one? That was one of the greatest show matches ever. Thorazane against Happy. You guys remember. Oh, you must remember. It was when Northern Isles was pretty much a brand new map. Whenever that was. 2018? 2019? I wonder what Thorazane's up to. I wonder what he's doing. I wonder what he's doing right now. He's probably working. He's probably on his grind set. Oh, no. It's, what is it? 10 p.m. in Sweden? Yeah, he's probably working, actually. 10 p.m. in Sweden? Yeah. Are we working? He's a busy boy. Archmage versus Lich again. Accolade sees it. Similar start to last game. Lich is selling TP and going for an expansion? No, going across the map. Level 2 with the push and vulnerability for the Archmage. Well, actually, let's just gonna do a little bit of creep in this way. Realizing we can't maybe do much across the map. Inspired with no footman scout. Is still going. Okay, he does have a footman scout. He doesn't see the lich and is still going across. A player's forces are under attack. Creeping on Sheik's side. Sheik does the same thing. No scout goes towards the expansion. Both players in the dark. on peasant action. Acolytes is so broke, it would probably turn around and kill that peasant right now, don't you think? Live in Sweden, no one works past five. What about doctors? They work past five? I hope seen. so. <laughs> I know socialized healthcare is you know, so that's a little wacky, but I would hope there's Dr. Pesson <laughs> in Sweden. Three Archmage and a Crystal Ball. Is that the third Crystal Ball in two games? And one Peasant goes down, two Peasant goes down, three Peasant goes down, four Peasant, five Peasant. Every Peasant is dead, except for one. This game might be over. That was a lot of peasant kills, everybody. Power 
being focused. But really, what should be focused is the peasants, not the tower, I would say. And where's the Archmage when you need him most? Oh, he's got to pop that water elemental in. He doesn't have mana for a water elemental. Never mind. Tower goes down. All the boys have been called. Okay, Inspired's trying to block the ghouls in here. If he can kill every single ghoul that's in this base, he's in an alright position, but he's going to lose every peasant for it. Okay, every worker for the entire fighting army. What is the better trade? Okay, he's got to finish his food. One ghoul. Okay, two ghouls make it out of there alive, and about seven peasants live. Yeah, seven peasants live, as it seems. A, a full tech advantage for Sheik as well. How many ghouls do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six ghouls. And yeah. Inspired is like, what am I supposed to do? I'm behind a full tech. I lost so many peasants. The only way is a Hail Mary. Gave him that five ghouls. He's going to go for the expansion. I respect it. I respect it. Oh no, sweet Jesus Lord. Oh, doesn't quite reach. But he can't call militia because then he'd get Novid. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Louise. Three peasants at home. And three at the expo. And tier three on the way for Sheik, who could probably do whatever he wanted. The stage. Um, inspired. I don't know what you're supposed to do here, buddy. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. A player's forces I don't know. are under attack. Is there a play to be made? You put Prime Infi in Inspired's position here. What does he do? What does he do? Always ask yourselves that question. The town is under siege. Infi probably GG's out after the first peasant loss, let's be honest. Our right, house being pressured will probably go down eventually, but I don't think an arcane tower is going to hold four ghouls here. And staff back in the lich. Oil is there as well. Seems like we're getting an Undead Mirror Grand Finals unless something absolutely crazy happens. It's gonna be Tier 3 soon, and Inspire's gonna hear that orb shot. The expansion cleaned up by the ghouls, and GG is called! Nice try to Inspire, but Sheik, the favorite in this match, does make it through to the finals in the shortest game of the last two series. Oh, my game crashed.